T-cell therapy could teach the body how to kill cancer. Scientists in the U.S. and Italy are developing a revolutionary cancer therapy that would teach the body to destroy cancer cells on its own, reducing the need for debilitating chemotherapy treatments. T-cell immunotherapy trials have shown great results in the U.S. study so far, with 94% of terminal leukemia patients going into remission. More than 40 patients with other blood cancers were also treated, and more than half of them were left cancer-free. The therapy is similar to a treatment given to British baby Layla Richards last year. Layla Richards was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, a disease in which the bone marrow makes too many immature lymphocytes. In a healthy child, the bone marrow makes blood stem cells that become myeloid stem cells or lymphoid stem cells, which then develop into mature red blood cells, platelets, or white blood cells. However, in a child with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, too many stem cells develop into lymphoblasts, B lymphocytes, or T lymphocytes, which are in fact leukemia cells. The leukemia cells are not able to fight infection, and they take up space for healthy blood cells in the blood and bone marrow. This may lead to infection, anemia, and easy bleeding. Last year, doctors in London used a new gene editing technology known as Talon on Layla. The technology uses molecular tools that act like scissors to cut specific genes in order to make the T-cells from healthy donors behave in two specific ways. First, the cells are able to become invisible to a powerful leukemia drug that would normally kill them. Second, they are reprogrammed to target and fight against leukemia cells only. A similar treatment is being tested in Seattle. The new technique involves removing T-cells from patients and genetically modifying them by adding chimeric antigen receptors, or CARs, from genetically engineered mice, which are able to target cancer. The modified T-cells are then injected back into the patient's body. In a second major breakthrough in Italy, researchers have discovered that memory T-cells can stay in the body for at least 14 years. This means they could be trained to fight cancer, as well as to remember the disease in case it comes back, allowing them to defeat it again. The latest discovery gives hope for the development of a vaccine-style drug that could stop cancer from coming back once it has been defeated.